uh, by Citigroup standard, it wasn't that much lo- that larger money actually. It was uh, peanuts. Was nothing. It was around seven hundred and seventy-two thousand plus. That was in an unreconciled account. Um, this record, this account came about because after 9-11, there was like billions of dollars left all over the place. And it took us a week to clean everything up. After we were done, there were a hundred million that remained in the account, plus this other amount that we couldn't a hundred percent verify, but we know it wasn't anything significant. The hundred the hundred million dollar turned out to belong to one of one of a big bank in New York. We called them actually a week before and told them this is their money, but they say it wasn't. And it took them, I think, two weeks to figure out that, yeah, it's there. So once we send that off, there was still the 772 remain. The problem is that our bosses at the time thought there might be huge numbers that net to a small amount that belong to different uh, areas. And they were, they were worried about this and they didn't want us to um, write this amount off although they consider it immaterial, they didn't want us to write it off because they, as I said, fear that it might be too net amount, too big amount that net to such a small, small number. So they want us to figure it out 100% before they write it off. Other things were, we never 100% figure it out, but we know there was no other money missing someplace else. And my conclusion was that this were actually unreconciled amount from, from before 9-11 happened that now got got basically thrown into this one account. At the same time that was happening, uh, a coworker, another coworker, my boss left a pay stub as somebody who I supervised on the printer. Someone, uh, someone on the floor came to me with it, to give it to me because, you know, I'm known as her supervisor. But what ended up happening is I told him, I, I looked at the number and realized that this, this person is making 10,000 more than I am. And I'm supposed to be, yeah, you know, I'm supposed to be the senior person here. So really pissed me off. I, I, I know kids nowadays would not understand loyalty to your company, but I was, it's like, it's like when you're in love. I was in love with my company. <laughs> and I respect everything that they gave me, especially the opportunity considering how much I had to interview and I wasn't getting anywhere. So I felt devastated. I mean, looking back now, it's kind of silly, but at the time I felt completely devastated that, here I am. I'm talking. I'm working. I mean, I'm working like crazy, and uh, and here is somebody that I'm actually training makes me ten thousand more than me. I was kind of shocked. And then this amount they keep coming back. I think it took two years, or I, I forgot exactly the time frame. But they always come back to say, "Okay, you need to investigate this this amount." And then I just got pissed off one day. I said, "You know what? Okay, I know what I'm going to do." So. I took it thinking that, you know what, this is my, this is payback for what I deserved and uh, changed my life forever.